does working together really make a difference when it comes to economic growth? Well, it's a, it's a fascinating report and um, I'm very pleased to have been asked to give some comments on it. Actually, it fits very nicely with work that we've been doing in the local government association, uh, both for cities and city regions, but also for, uh, for areas around cities and rural areas as well. And, and there's a there's a, you know, a lot of sense that uh, covers the, the whole, really, the whole uh, variety of local government in, uh, in England in particular. Uh, I think it does make a difference and there's plenty of evidence now where you can see uh, in cities uh, a whole variety of different models and new ones being created the whole time, uh, actually, uh, that, that are beginning to have an impact and actually when you look at them you wonder, frankly, you know, why, why we didn't do a lot of this a long time ago. And, People can always quote you know, lots of examples of perhaps the most established, and, you know, whether it's uh, Triborough in West London or whether it's uh, the whole, uh, probably the, I suppose Manchester being you know, the prime example of just how ten authorities uh, and a wider group have been able to work effectively uh, and the impact is visible on the ground and you know, could not have been done uh, in any other way than you know, willing cooperation uh, yes, getting powers from government, but it couldn't have couldn't have happened without a, a preparedness of those air those areas within a larger city to actually cooperate, work together, look for ways through, and not ways of things preventing that. Part of this is um, is the the message that government sends actually is you know, if the mood of government or future government is that we are moving from a highly centralised state to passing those powers down and the expectation is that you know we'll have to show that we're capable of it in communities and in cities then that you know, i think that's legitimate uh, that's right for uh, national government with a mandate to be able to sort of set those broad expectations but uh, i think they, you know, they 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 need to be clear that that is the message as we lead into the general election after the scottish referendum then that's the time for all the political parties to be setting out their stall and being clear if they believe, uh, as I think we do in cities uh, and indeed in all parts of uh, local public services, is that there's got to be a fundamental shift in power from the centre to local areas to cities and that there is all the evidence you need to show that actually you're going to get, the state is going to get better value, better outcomes, better outputs as a result of that.